How's the lighting? Really bad? No, it's actually decent. I mean, so it's casting shadows inside of there, but... It's going to. Yeah. What? <laughs> All right, so clearly this week we're disassembling the front end and uh, gonna install the bags on the front. This is like one of the easier things to do on these trucks. Lower A arms are two bolts, upper A arms are two bolts. While we're doing that, we're gonna end up play replacing the ball joints as well. So stick around, we're gonna show you how we get the old ball joints out and get the bags mounted and all that nonsense. Oh, that wasn't staged at all. Not even a little bit. Okay then. You're cutting off the ball joint. Well, cutting the rivets out of the ball joint because it's a really odd ball joint. It's riveted into the Aeon. Yeah, I was reading that other people are drilling these rivets out. And that seems silly because then it's, it just has a hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> you grind the head off, then you can just knock it right out and then you're done. Now this is before, we're filming this before you actually do it, so let's see how easy it is. Let's see how this actually goes. <laughs> I got something better. What's that? A pickle fork? Uh, oh, a thingy that does stuff. Ugh. Here you go. What was that you were saying about uh, drilling a hole? Yeah, I was reading that other people are drilling these rivets out. And that seems silly. And that seems silly. Silly. Uh, apparently people have to drill holes in these. And, uh... Silly. I was wrong, clearly. And that seems silly. Silly. So what size drill bit is it? Half inch. Well, first, we use the grinder. Mm -hmm. And then, we use the drill. And then, and then, we used an air hammer, or a chisel, air chisel. It only took about four hours to do. Wow. Yeah. Would have been cheaper just to buy the whole A-arm. Yeah. Considering what, you know, a shop will charge for four hours worth of work, it's cheaper just to buy the whole A-arm. <laughs> Yeah, so we just cut the bump stop bracket off. We gotta do some trimming to make sure these bags fit up in here. Johnny went ahead and cleaned up my really crappy torch cuts. I did indeed. Uh, so those are real nice and pretty um, and we made sure the bag cleared. We have clearance now. Everything's cleaned up Next we got to drill a hole in the top of the uh, I guess the spring mount on the factory truck so we can get our airline through uh, and what we're doing is we have a hole saw And we're using a one inch bit because it calls for a 31, 32 hole. So we're just gonna oversize. What, what, what calls for Oversize that? it a little bit. Because we don't want metal against our airlines, right? So, hold on. Got a goodie bag. Bag of tricks. So we got some gro grommets. So this grommet requires a 31, 32 hole, and we went with a one inch just because 
is cheaper that way. Buying a 31, 30 seconds talking. drill bit would have cost like so you, $40. <laughs> so, uh, and we're talking a 64th of an inch gap. 60, one a 64th of an inch gap. And you can imagine that's pretty Just cool. on the grommet. Just on the grommet between the grommet and the metal, the hole that we're drilling. So we're gonna put these in after the hole's drilled so that our airline will fit nice and snug, as you can see. Fit nice and snug in there and it won't rub against the metal. And Ooh. be nice and pretty. So pretty. Be good to go. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna drill a hole. We got, I don't know if you noticed, but we have a crap bag on there for install purposes. So we can weld our lower cups in place so we know where everything's gonna land. And not melt the not, bags. Not ruin the new bag, just making sure everything's gonna fit properly, make sure we have our clearances with the crap bag. Not everyone has the ability to do that, but just be careful, I guess. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing. Yay. We're drilling holes to put grommets in, to put the airline in, to do a final install on the front suspension. Yeah, yeah. Some lower cups tacked here. Hell yeah. Gonna weld them out. Because why not? Go hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. We are aired up here. All the way. This is just the test. Obviously, we need to drive it out, turn it around, put the truck bed on it. But blah blah blah. All right. So. Uh... About this time, you're probably wondering why we didn't show the full assemble on the front end, but you know, the hard stuff was putting the bag mounts in and the rest is self-explanatory. You're gonna bolt everything in, put the spindles on, and then, I mean, it's really just reversing back to stock. The only thing you're replacing is the bags for the springs. So that was the easy part, right? The front's gonna air out faster because of obviously the engine weight. Right. And then the rear, because there's nothing back here. Is that everything? That's all, That's all she's got? All she's got. <sighs> so now we are squarely on the ground and the tank is sitting on the ground. No, once, it's once we got get the, room. Well, once we get the bed weight on there, it'll be on the ground. Air out. Mm. But hey, the exhaust clears. How's it? I mean, it's pretty low. It's not as low as I'd want it. Well, we had to be conservative on the front because he wanted this bumper. We actually did use uh, drop spindles, the McGowie's uh, drop spindles on this truck. So it does help with uh, tucking the wheel up a little higher and helps with the uh, the camber angle and all that stuff when you're aired out. Well, there you have it folks. It's on the ground. So now we're going to get this thing rolling outside and dust it off.
Go hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe and comment and share with your friends. You can also check out our website. It's garagejunkieapparel.com. We have all our shirts available for purchase. We'll see you next week.